Welcome back to the Web Intersect PHP and MySQL Social Network Production Series. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to write your first automated site maintenance script. And we'll show you how to set a cron job to make it execute once daily to perform certain tasks that our social site will require if it is to stay clean, stable, and uncluttered. The first scripted task we're going to automate once a day is clearing our database of people who have signed up but never activated for whatever reasons. If you do not do this, your database will become heavily clogged with non-existent people over time. Okay, here's a look at all of the files within our software system so far. So what I'll do now is create a new folder in here and call it Cron Jobs. Now I'll open up my scripting editor and I'm going to create a new PHP script. Make sure I'm in code view, get rid of all this crap, and we'll put in a PHP code block. Now press Control S to save this file into your newly created cron jobs folder. So double click and save this file. You can name it anything you want, but I'll just name it once a day or once daily because this script will be commanded to fire off once daily because I'm going to set it that way. All right, so you have once daily.php. Okay, the first thing we'll do is require once our database connection file. So you just put dot dot forward slash to go up one folder and then into the PHP includes folder database connection file. Now you write yourself a comment and you say this code block deletes all accounts that do not activate after three days and you can set that to any interval you want maybe you want seven days 30 days and here is the SQL syntax and the query for that. The SQL syntax reads select ID and username fields from the users table where their sign up date is less than or equal to the current date minus three days. So you can set that interval to any interval you like, like I said. And then you want to make sure you say and activated equals zero. Because you want to make sure you're not picking people who have activated one because those are people who have activated. So you just want this query to select people who have not activated yet and it has been three days since their sign up date. And then you actually execute the query here with your MySQLi query function. Then we're going to check the num rows from that database query result. So we use MySQLi num rows on that query and pack it into a variable called num rows. Now you can just highlight that, copy it, and write if, open close parentheses, open in curly brace, go down a couple of lines, and close in curly brace. In the if condition, you want to put if num rows is greater than zero. That means if there's at least one, we're going to execute code right here. And that code looks like this. It's going to be a while loop that loops over that MySQL result set. So if there happens to be 10 people who are in your database that have not activated after three days, they are going to be pouring out through this loop, this while loop. And we use MySQLi fetch array on the query, and we set the second parameter to be MySQLi associ. That way we can just put the field names right here. And that associative array is put into this variable called row and then you can access the elements within that array using their name or their key in the array which is the field names so let's say the first user is found and he comes pouring through this loop you're selecting his ID and his username and you're setting up reference to his user folder that's within your file system because you have to make sure you delete that as well so we just say if is directory that means if it is a folder then you're going to use the remove directory function on that path and that will effectively remove that user's folder and that folder is going to be empty because they have not activated yet so that means the site won't let them do anything so their folder will be empty so you don't have to worry about removing the folder contents before removing the folder because remove directory is touchy when you have files in a folder and you try and remove it okay and the last two things you want to do is delete the user from the users table where ID equals this user's ID and username equals this user's username and they're activated equals zero and you just say limit one because each time they come pouring through the loop you just want to delete that one member so if you have 20 members that have not activated yet this while loop will process 20 times for each of them independently then you actually execute that delete them from the users table query then you delete them from the user options table where username equals this username limit one and then you actually execute that query right there and that's all there is to it
And this script should effectively remove everybody from your database that is a dead soul, somebody who did not activate yet. And if your site gets popular, you'll have hundreds of thousands of these non-activated members. So you want to get them out of there. Now all we have to do is show you how to set up a cron job that's going to automate this script to fire off once a day on your server. That way you don't have to mess with it. And there's tons and tons of site tasks that you can automate for a PHP and MySQL website using cron jobs. I mean, not you can do way more than just deleting non-activated members. And if it's something that's going to happen once daily, you can just stack a whole bunch of code blocks right in here in this once daily.php file. That way you can be sure whatever code blocks you want to run once a day, execute. Now log into your hosting account cPanel. And if you happen to be on some kind of host that doesn't have cPanel, maybe they have custom control panel, they'll have the cron jobs or the cron tab available for you to click on somewhere within that system. So click cron jobs down in the advanced tab. Okay, so I want to set this cron job up to fire off once a day. And here's my command string. So I have PHP space and then the home directory for my particular hosting account and my username. And you can find that string for your home directory on your cPanel homepage down in that left column. It says it should have your uh, username, your home directory, and things like that. That's where you can find that information. If you have any trouble, you can get in touch with your hosting account provider, and they'll guide you through the process of how to set up cron jobs command on their particular system. So you can see how mine is structured. I go into my public HTML folder, into my cron jobs folder that we just created, and then target once daily.php. And the command gives me a little check mark there, okay? And then click add new cron job, and it says added cron job. Whenever you want to delete this cron job, if you don't want it to run anymore, you simply go down to the section where they show your cron jobs and hit delete. Now, it might take you some time to get some users, or maybe you want to test how cron works right now in five minutes. You want to see it executing. So let's create another one. Every five minutes, you want this one to run. Or you can set it to every ten minutes, whatever you want. I'm going to go every five minutes. And here's my command, test.php. In my cron jobs folder, my public HTML folder of my hosting account and PHP space is on the front of that. Now that's just the string commands for my particular hosting account it seems to work for me so you might have to if it doesn't work for you this test.php cron job then you can search your hosting providers help files or you'll have to get in touch with them to find out the exact string that you have to put in here to make this cron job execute. So let's add that new cron job as well every five minutes test.php. Now I'll show you test.php. You can put your email at your address.com there and then your autoresponder email from your web host and then just put an autoresponder address that's from your website and the subject can be testing cron and the message could be cron is working remove test cron job now and then you simply use the mail function to send that message to yourself and if your test.php cron job is actually working, you'll get an email every five minutes. So in three minutes, I'm going to check my email inbox to see if it arrives. Because it's 8.47 a.m. right now, so I'm going to wait till 8.50. In 8.50, I should have an email. And then every five minutes after that, I should get another email. But you don't want to keep that test cron running. It's just to, for you to evaluate. Okay, in my email inbox, I have this message. That means my cron command is accurate for my hosting account because everything is working. I'm going to go back to my hosting account control panel and delete test.php cron job. Delete, delete. And now I just have that once daily. So if you know that test.php works, you'll know that once daily.php is going to be called to execute once a day. And even if my script logic is off a little bit, you understand what this script is aiming to do. You want to delete people out of your system if they have not activated their account after so many days, whatever interval you want to set. Okay, so remember that cron, you can set it to run five times a day, once a day, every five minutes, every minute, every 30 seconds, once only at Christmas, once every five years, whatever you want to do. Okay, so that's how you can set up cron jobs to automate site maintenance on your website so that way you're not working so hard and doing all of these things manually that you could potentially set up to be automated.